Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss a program which is to check whether a number is Armstrong or not. So the objective of the program is written in the first statement with the help of comment. So first we have to understand what are uh, Armstrong numbers. So uh, you can uh, say that 153 is Armstrong number. So how can we check uh, whether a number is Armstrong or not? So uh, if I uh, take 153, so I have to uh, uh, identify individual digits of uh, this number uh, that is 1, 5 and 3. So individually I have to calculate cubes of these numbers that is 1 cube, then cube of 5, then cube of 3. Now if I add all these results uh, which I have calculated with the help of cube uh, and the result of uh, that sum will be equal to 153 then that number is Armstrong. So if you uh, uh, take a paper or pen and if you write 153 then you calculate 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube then the result will be 153. So 153 is considered as Armstrong number. Whereas if you take 123 it will not be Armstrong number. Then in second statement uh, I have used a header file stdio.h for printf and scanf. Then main function is used. Inside main there are several instruct instructions in which first is variable declaration. Then second statement is printf. It, it will display enter a number on console. Then scanf statement is used. It will read a number from console. Then I have used a temporary variable which is receiving the value of n. So here I am making a copy of n with the help of t. So I can use t instead of n. Why I did this? Because after execution of this loop, after completion of execution of while loop, the value of n becomes 0. So if I want to use uh, value of n after this loop, then uh, it has already become 0. So I cannot use n uh, for any calculation. That's why I have assigned temporarily value of n into t. So after this while loop, I can use t instead of n. So you can see that in this if condition, I have used t instead of n. Now this while loop will calculate sum of cubes of individual digits. So you can see that this, in, uh, this instruction is calculating uh, cubes here. And the uh, result of this, uh, the, these cubes will be uh, uh, adding into S and the result will be assigning into uh, S. So modulus operation will calculate the last digit of the number. Then this expression will be evaluated and this division will remove the last digit. So uh, uh, we can calculate uh, cubes of each digit and the cubes will be uh, added further into S variable. So finally this s variable will be having uh, sum of uh, cubes of all the digits. So after completion of this while loop, uh, if I check this if condition, so s will be containing uh, the output of uh, above loop and t will be containing the original number. So if both the variables are having the same value, then printf will print number is Armstrong. Otherwise, this printf will print number is not Armstrong. So now I am compiling this code. There are no errors or warnings. Now I am executing this code. It is asking for a number. So I am entering 153. So it uh, should be uh, displaying number is Armstrong. So it is displaying number is Armstrong. So code is correct. I am executing it again. This time I entered 123. So it is displaying number is not Armstrong, which is also correct. So uh, do implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can understand the logic uh, behind it. These are my information, my phone number, email ID, website. You can download my app that is TechMS for uh, tutorials of C, C++, etc. You can download these tutorials from uh, this link. You can read my books uh, which are related to programming languages. You can watch uh, this YouTube channel uh, to learn uh, about various programming languages other than C.
थैंक यू